don't really think you know where we're going or you know where we're going. Uh, I'm gonna make you mine. There's something special about your love. I think it's one of a kind. Alright. Good morning, people. So, it's like 9 something in the morning, which isn't super early, I know. Most people are probably, especially, already up at Disney from way too early for me, in my personal opinion. But last night, I don't know what tech Kellan, but Kellan was... He had a night, that's all I can say. We first tried him on the... Um, pull out that didn't go so well just because i think he's used to sleeping um with he sleeps really badly you know it goes all over the place and he's used to more space than that um and then the part underneath here i think is more for like an older kid so kellan was not having the greatest time and he just wasn't adjusting to being in the room that well um, so every time he heard like Lisa move or like something would happen that he heard any kind of noise at all He would try to spring up out of the bed and he hit his head one time um, Not anything serious. I just saw the potential for it to get bad And we just kept trying to put him back to sleep and put him back to sleep and put him back to sleep Eventually we gave up and and did the coach pull out which should have went better maybe would have worked better if we had initially put him to sleep there but that didn't work so good either and he spent a ration of the night waking up and being awake and being distracted by everything that he could anyway so we're gonna go to try to have breakfast at the contemporary and then head back home um luckily we have this luxury I know a lot of people won't have this, but this is one of the good things about going on vacation. We found a way to forget, and let, let me say, let me take most of the responsibility in this. I was very tired from coming in for work and trying to help Lisa do last minute packing. She must have asked me to get out my um, underclothes, like my, my undershirts, my underwear, all of that. And... I don't know if I just heard her say it and just didn't do it or what and then she didn't realize that I didn't do it so we packed the bags and I'm literally here with no underclothes so that's not the disaster it would be if we lived in another state um, or even in another part of the state we're just gonna drive home after breakfast everybody needs a nap after last night like I was saying Kellan barely slept one thing i have to say that i don't like about the room so far is something that looks like it could be easily fixed um and wouldn't be the biggest of deals to a lot of people but it's a big deal to me so i'm gonna show you really quickly here you see the um where they decided to put the curtain rod the issue is that if they had put it above the trim line i think what happens now is the sun comes in so even when you have the blinds all the way closed there's light that comes up over the top so it defeats the purpose of having blackout blinds because light still emits out of it and one of the things that ends up being kind of annoying about it i think i realized it with kellan just having a rough transition into the hotel well that shouldn't be a big deal at night but the boardwalk is also set up after some time in the room and your light, your eyes acclimate to the light if you are on the pullout or closer to that side you notice the light coming through the top of it as well again this is an easy fix if they would just move the sight line of the of the height at which the curtain rod is but for right now that's one of the more annoying things in it it also suffers from another like noise cancellation um kind of thing where you can hear people walking back and forth um outside the room but to be fair i feel like our location we don't really hear a lot of it so 
it's not a big deal anyway let's get ready for um whatever the wave has become now what is it called now yeah 71 steakhouse so i used to really love the wave over at the contemporaries uh so let's see what that's about um let's put on this is this is lisa's one of her um one of her favorite put together outfits um we're all matching literally it's me and kellen really matching she's just kind of like it's a target in the set. theme it is a target set okay but she, she's in full you know mommy glory because she's gotten uh son and father to dress almost exactly the same and then she gets to kind of just be like in in the theming but not exact anyway i'll show you guys how it looks when we put the clothes on we definitely have an amazing server. Guys, so we are at the, we're, I, I wanted to say the pinch up of the wave. We are at Steakhouse 71. Hi, Dan. I am drinking a tequila sunrise. I always wanted to try one as a kid. I always have had one. I always like the name of it, but like, I, never, I don't think I've had one either. I've seen them. Grapefruit foam. And then Dan has. So mine is magical. Mine, um, as you drink it, it will disappear, and when it gets empty, it refills itself. <laughs> it refills. Yeah. So cheers. Yo, he's horrible at cheers. Oh, this is lovely. Wow. That's amazing. Isn't that nice? Yeah. You have to sit twice. Isn't that so good? I've never had anything like that before. No, the backward thing is you would have thought Lisa would have been the one of the momos and maybe I would have done the tequila sunrise. Yeah. Kellen is drinking apple juice, watered down. We had a rough night um, getting him to sleep. He initially went to sleep. I think Dan was telling you guys he initially went to sleep. Then he woke up and it was like, good morning. And good morning and cranky. Like, normally he gets up and, like, like before he was sleeping, he'd get up and it would be like playtime. Last night he was just cranky. So I'm just concerned that, you know, maybe something might be wrong. But he seems to be okay. Um, no fever or anything like that, no diarrhea. So we'll keep some monitoring it. Maybe he was just like, I don't like this room. But. Oh, I thought I was like, Ooh. Um, but yeah, so so far it seems to be a really good experience. Our server Tim, he'll be getting a cast compliment. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna open up the app so you can see it. When you find uh, someone that you really enjoy, go to the Disney app and then scroll up to the bottom. It has cast compliment, and then you open that, you say their name. Tell um, like where you found them. The cast first name is optional, but you know. And then the day of the interaction, and then you can send magic for them. So I'll do that because I don't know. There's just he has a good spirit. You feel me? All right. So last night we went to Flying Fish, and we actually decided that Flying Fish and one other place called Bull and Bear. While we suggest those places to everyone, flying fish will be for everyone. It's seafood, um, heavily, you know, like fish based. So if you're like one of those, to me, strange people that don't eat fish, it's not much on the menu for you. Um, but Bull and Bear is probably, arguably, my favorite restaurant. If not my favorite restaurant, definitely in the top two. Um, so we decided that while we will always entertain those places unless there's some kind of special event or something changes in the future where we're doing something specifically to promote those um, two restaurants we just won't block from there that will just be like family time so um, but here's a little different I gotta say being back in the steakhouse 71 no versus when it was the wave 
I'm not one of these traditionalist people that is like, I hate all change. Um, I usually don't like too much change when it comes to that stuff. Thank you very much. Of course. This is here already. You guys got to see this. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, the change um, in here is good. It's for the good for me. I like the modernized. I'm not sure if I like the whole re-theming of everything in, in... No, I'm saying like the rest of the place with like the whole Incredibles thing. But in here, the theming, this is now contemporary. So I like it so far. So I'm not down on everything that changes. This is a good change in my book. But take a look at the food. So we have avocado toast with multi grain toast, some breakfast potatoes, uh, blueberry and ricotta. Lemon. Blue, uh, blueberry and lemon ricotta pancakes. That's the seasonal pancakes for today. And then we have a prime rib hash with a runny egg. It looks beautiful. And we're missing some chicken sausage, so we're gonna get that. Oh man. So, smells yeah, amazing. Smells um, really good. Of course, we got the avocado toast, so we probably won't be able to buy a house because <laughs> of millennials and our avocado toast. The breakfast uh, potatoes, like, amazing. Like, yeah, every one of them looks love crisp, that, really like, crisp. Crisp on it. Everything. I don't know if you can hear the crisp. <laughs> Everything I have to say is it looks like what Disney wants. It looks amazing. It looks like something that you can film or take pictures of. But it's not where it's gone too much to that, where everything is Instagrammable and it doesn't look like it's actually going to taste good. Of it. So, yeah, this is a very, very solid entry into the changes they've made so far because everything looks like it's going to taste as good as it looks. And then this is the Some, chicken sausage. This is a hundred percent pure maple syrup. That's Perfect. the good stuff. Butter, and then I got some little share plates. So much. Thank, you. You Thank you, Tim. Are we all good? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll be close by if you think of anything. Just I'll Thank enjoy you. your meal. Thank you. All right, guys. See you in a couple. Couple of something. A couple of something. <laughs> all right. So real quick, um, just to recap in case you're not familiar. So. Lisa is Seventh-day Adventist, so she doesn't eat shellfish and doesn't eat pork. I have grown up around my mom who is Seventh-day Adventist, father is Rastafarian, and between like all of that and my own mixes of beliefs, I don't eat pork. Um, I do eat shellfish, but not so much because I usually try to get things that I can share. Um, but the reason I bring that up is because if you tell them that, unfortunately we have to tell them that it was an allergy, but they are very accommodating to that. They will actually bring out a menu or I just go as far as have you speak with the chef to really know that everything that you're getting um, will accommodate to your your diet. So that's another thing that I really have to give them credit for. Another thing is these chicken sausages um, and Tim made sure that he reiterated that there was no casing on them. So it does have an actual like sausage casing but it doesn't have a pork casing which is one of the most frustrating and pointless things that I think they do in chicken sausage is they make a chicken sausage and put like a pork casing on it which makes absolutely no sense and why are you eating chicken sausages? But um, they made sure to reassure us that that is not the case with that. Um, so again, special credit for them with that. But anyway, see you guys on my belly phone, okay? How much is it? Okay, just so you guys see, this is the total for that full meal that we just had. Okay, so we had technically three different entrees, two beverages and remember Dan had a, re a refillable mimosa and that's the total so very reasonable for like Disney pricing but that was that is with the this is with the pass holder discount so you were getting four dollars and sixty cents off with the pass holder discount but even without the discount I think that's a very reasonable amount for Disney yeah very yeah. reasonable I haven't seen it and Dan myself, says he's full the food is exceptional here. yeah I have to say I would put this up against anywhere in Disney. Not saying it's yeah. the best, but it can compare with the best. Yeah, no, definitely. Of the best. We yeah. will definitely come back. Yeah. And again, our server, um, Tim, was really great. 
So yeah, if you can, come and request Tim. All right, guys, it's raining, so we have to go. But this was the end of our checker match. I hope you got to see um, that I beat him. <laughs> okay, I was actually losing. So we're gonna run inside now. Rain, rain, go away. It's kind of sunny, but kind of gray. Just one of those days. check and see if the boardwalk has any of these things. Look at these two looking so cute together. Matching, they match. So again, thank you Contemporary. We enjoy being home. So it's going to rain again. Like, look at Florida weather. You can't predict Florida weather. So I know you could hear it thundering. So I'm trying to get back to the room in safety, but no matter what, um, it is Sabbath for us, so I really like to like, enjoy Sabbath and rest. Um, so I'm really, literally going to go back to the room to take a nap. Um, Kelton is going to take a nap. And then later on, we're going to get up and head to Sebastian's at the Caribbean Beach. Hopefully, we'll be able to take the skyline over. But um, otherwise, if it's raining, we're probably just going to have to drive. So a little disappointed about that, but yeah. So heading back to the hotel, I think you could see the beautiful views of the boardwalk. Dan already did a midnight tour, just so you guys can see how the hotel looks when it is uh, when it is not that crowded. It's Saturday, and a lot of people are checking in today. A lot of people. Um, it's holiday weekend, so. That's expected. So if you get a chance, please go to that video. We can do a midnight tour, creepy tour of the boardwalk. But today, I'm literally just heading back in the cover so I don't get rained on. All right, guys. Mm, fresh cut flowers. Beautiful. So guys, while we were at breakfast this morning, there was a bit of a... Um, issue <laughs> it's kind of like we weren't here to um to to see it so it is what it is after contemporary we went, ran back home to grab a couple of more things and dan received a call from the director of housekeeping or manager yeah. in housekeeping and they stated that there was an issue with the room um that they're cleaning it up and sanitizing it apparently the room adjacent to us had some plumbing issue or or we had a plumbing issue and it's next built door. I don't, next I'm, I'm not sure which where the room is yeah not sure if they meant left or right or yeah we're not really sure which side of the, of the room but um there was some type of water um one of our or two of our bags got um wet but they picked them up um it wasn't any of our like um it's not our luggage yeah it's it not like... any of our luggage luckily it was just like a cleaning bag literally you know I, I showed you i clean so i have a bag that i carry my hamper in and like my cleaning products and that got wet they cleaned it sanitized it brought it back but they also brought first guy um, Freddy Breed Freddy um, he brought us the chocolates and a card and just apologizing for um, like what happened that's who Dan spoke to um, previously then we got um, this lady Arias came and delivered this cute little box um, and it's just like another um, thank you letter for coming and an apology um, just for like the situation we didn't see it, so we really don't know how bad it really was. Um, but I think um, they're also being proactive because it could have been really bad. Because um, like my laptop is here, like our luggage is here. We carry hard case luggage, um, to me brand luggage. So it's very difficult to like wet and damage. But it is for that purpose. If I would have left it open, maybe it could have flooded. But it was something that they were able to contain and clean up. Um, so we do appreciate the tokens of love from um, Walt Disney World um, staff. So to Freddie and to Arias, we really do appreciate it. This one is some fruit. Kellen's very excited about opening it too. Okay. Yeah. But the box folds out. Okay. So look at that. 
We have some cashews, cashews. chocolate covered ah. almonds, chocolate covered blueberries, ah. and some trail mix. It's a nice touch, I have to say. It is a nice touch. If I'm being totally honest, um, like Lisa said, I don't. We don't know the how bad it the was or what it, was. You know? um, and they seemed to be very apologetic um, and proactive about coming to make sure they took care of us, which I have to hands down give them credit for. Mm -hmm. Now, I will be I will be honest in playing both sides. I don't. I also don't know if that is also because we're in the boardwalk in a DVC villa that they're like, yo, you know, let's make sure that we take care of our guests in these kinds of rooms or just or if this is just so there's a difference okay so there's yeah. two is it because it's boardwalk dvc which is like mm. a continued contractual you know like visit versus boardwalk because it's deluxe yeah. so which one do you think it is or is it i'm, I'm not entirely one? sure i just would hope that they would do that same thing to people staying at all star because thing is yeah, I might be staying at yeah. All Star, but I might be staying 21 days at the All Star. Yes, which we've experienced, have seen yeah. Um, or I might be. What is the longest you remember the man that we met at the pool? I don't remember. I think it name. was like 15 days or something, and there were 10 of them. Yeah. I remember he said 10 of them. Um, or I could be staying at one of the moderates, but I have several trips booked between yes. the um, things. So. Anyway, the thing is, I'm not gonna rob them of the gesture. Yes. It's just a thought of, is it the rooms? Is it the, is it the establishment, or is this just Disney? Um, or is it you know, because it's Matt is my plus one? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. So like, that's the thing. Is you just ultimately would hope that this extends to anywhere on property, and that Disney knows that they should have this level of care everywhere. Um, and not just for who they deem as like Delance. high value. All right, guys. So we're gonna go rush and get ready because we're gonna try to do the skyline to wow. Caribbean Beach, um, wow. depending on the weather. So yeah, they have always have like really cool like free activities at the hotels. Their kids are doing hula hoop over here. On the other end, they're doing um, s'mores. So we are heading to Sebastian's Bistro at Caribbean Beach um, so we're kind of missing out on this but they do have a lot of fun especially because it's a holiday weekend they're doing um, a lot of outside activities this I think is where we have breakfast uh, tomorrow or the day before Monday Monday yeah we're doing breakfast their menu looks good boardwalk bakery has a I believe it's a Juneteenth dessert it's called freedom brownie I think it is um, it is red velvet brownie with I have to read the description to you but it sounds so good Dan hates red velvet it's um, not that I just think it's overrated but it's it's not overrated it's amazing it, it was a, a nice thought I wish they would have put been like bold and said what it specifically is for but I read it and knew like yeah that's what it's for yeah so should Disney do Juneteenth inspired treats and stuff why is that controversial or is that a debate anybody mm -hmm. that's made uncomfortable by that you should like their corporation they're gonna welcome everybody's money mm -hmm. but I'm sorry. If you're if you're uncomfortable with you with mean, that, you wanna... yeah, come on. So Disney, be bold. But we do definitely appreciate the what we've seen so far. Next year might be even bigger and better. Fireworks. 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 Yeah. Okay. So this is Kellen's like first time as like a big boy going on the Skyliner. So I'm excited. I don't know if. He's going to be afraid of it, but I'm interested to see how he reacts. But he looks like he's super excited. So we'll see. Now boarding two. Riviera and Caribbean. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Where the skyline is at? I'm excited. Are you? Yes, thank you. First reaction. <laughs> We're gonna go up. Look, look. <laughs> this way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're flying like the birdies fly. He's not sure about this. There is Ratatouille. Wow, that's the Caribbean Park. Are we on a label? As long as we don't get one of those crazy stops, we will be fine. Soon we'll be flying past Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Disney's Boardwalk Villas. This charming lakeside resort offers magical lounges. A good shot of the swan and dolphin. We are now approaching the Skyliner turn station. Getting ready to set. If you don't know, you can find walking directions to items on the Disney app, which is right, is, is what we're doing now. He's back there saying, wow. He's looking at the Skyliner and saying, wow. I guess he just realized that he was on that a couple minutes ago. <laughs> so um, we are outside Sebastian's Bistro waiting to be seated. We got here late because I want you to see see the Skyliner um, coming in over there. The stop is literally all the way over there and then we got to make our way through the resort on this side. So there's no stop that's like close to the main lobby so it's a distance so it literally took us maybe about uh seven to eight, maybe 10 minute walk um we were rushing so if you're not like rushing it might take like 10 minutes or so to get to this main area to eat so we are we're already late um but the walk on to get onto the skyliner was really quick we didn't have to wait at all it was literally like ready at epcot as you get to later in the day um and like later in the evening and at night the Skyliner lines are going to be really long, so calculate that into it. But the full ride was maybe 10 minutes, and then the walkover was another 10 minutes. So probably a transfer of 20 minutes. Um, it would have been quicker to drive, but we wanted to experience the Skyliner. So we are a little late, but we had to kind of wait now. Now we have to wait in order to um, eat because we were late for our reservation. But yeah, it's, it, we don't mind because it's for an experience. Um, what is kind of silly is you're not able to call the restaurant and tell the restaurant like oh we're running late you know we'll be there so when it it's when you're running late it delays the process because by the time you come there they're like what time is the reservation all that stuff you were able to call ahead and say oh we're gonna be there five ten minutes from now um, then they can kind of prepare and get the table ready and stuff like that they have a rum flight guys look at that rum flight I gotta try that. These I guess are all the ones they're gonna have. They got popcorn. Oh, they got apples. Cool. I guess I'm getting drunk tonight. All right. I completely forgot that this is one of those um, like buffet style family style dinners. So they're just gonna start bringing out food and we're just gonna eat it. Again, we don't pork, so um, the pork that they normally have, they're gonna take that one out and then add in extra protein on the other ones, which is steak and chicken. If you scan here, you will get the menu. And then 
Dan is going to be drinking the old fashioned featuring the Appleton Toll beer with ginger and orange tangerine. And I'm going to be drinking the Island Time seasonal margarita with chipotle pineapple watermelon. So, sounds really good. We'll show you that when it comes. Uh, but I'm excited because I'm like hungry now. It's so old fashioned. What are you looking at over there? Cheers. Like, um, I think they have like cognac, um, like special cherries, marchino cherries, so I want to taste that afterwards. So I'm going to try it. So this is my margarita. You tried it? It has a subtle heat. The bread is so good. The guava, and you know I don't like guava that much, but that guava um, butter is good. And the onion jam, excellent. Right? But it's like a, like a late heat. So for the second night in a row, I think I've gotten a drink that smells better than it tastes. But that's not to say that it doesn't taste good. Um, this is an old fashioned with an apple tart. Me personally, I think it's better than your traditional old fashioned. <laughs> Um, not to say I've had a bourbon uh, like old fashioned that I like, but this is a nice taste. Of it. Like if they went and did the whole gimmicky, like infuse it with smoke and all of that, with this, I think people would might stop the bourbon thing or it would become a more dominant style of it. That's how confident I'm in this piece. Lisa's drink, she's saying it's subtle, but I think it's amazing. I think it's a really good taste to it. Um, it's subtle that it's not like overly sweet, but there's a really good taste to it. The, um, the rim, salty rim, the, the little bit of spice in the drink. That's a really balanced drink. Like I would, if I was drinking another thing tonight, I'd, I'd order that. Up. So this is the steak, and then we have some chicken. Looks like chicken thighs. Build up really nicely. We have our rice and peas. We have a curry. It's like a red curry. Um, looks like cauliflower and like bell peppers, and then a broccoli. I'm still working yeah, yeah. on the salad. The, same the bread is awesome, but yo. Stuff take people for food. This is hard over. It's like a pie bread. bread. Yeah, yeah, it's a pie bread. Dan ordered the shrimp enhancement, so the spicy meal, and then he ordered some of the fried some jerk tofu. So I'm interested to try it. Um, let's take a bite. Mm. It is good. It is jerk. But it's still not gonna be what it's you expect. Texture. Yeah, it's a texture for me when it comes to tofu. Like I like a firm tofu. It is a little soft. But the coating is amazing. I can't say that I wouldn't order it again. So for my vegetarian people, try that one. I'm trying the coconut shrimp. It's really good. It, for the first time in a long time, having coconut shrimp, I can say I actually taste why they call it coconut shrimp. A lot of the time I feel like I get this like open banded shrimp and then you hear, oh, coconut shrimp and I don't taste any coconut element to it. This you actually taste it. So when you put that little bit of lemon on top of it, you don't even need the dip to be honest. Have you tried it with the dip? Yeah. The dip, um, it's not totally necessary. It's, it's an enhancement that I feel like it's not like, oh, I have to eat it right like there. <laughs> Time to dig in to our pineapple, what is it, pineapple coconut bread pudding? Bread pudding. Castle Top in the Terrace, um, that's at the Riviera. It's one of their, it's a new resort, um, so it's a new restaurant. I can't wait to come here and I'm pleasantly, I know, I think I didn't have high hopes, but I'm ple I was pleasantly surprised at how well um, the food was. And the service was great. The manager that was here, Dan, he was amazing. He literally touched every table. He just helped him bring out food. He really supported his staff like really well. So I had to stop and like talk to him and tell him like how much I appreciate that. Our server Katie, she was really great. Um, and there was a lady named Ali at the front that helped us um, 
really, really serving. So I had really enjoyed my night. Um, the only thing I think I was too full to try the dessert. I tasted a little bit of it, it was good, um, but I'm like stuck right now. I don't think I was prepared for like how much food was gonna come out. But it was an excellent area of food. Like Dan was saying, um, to me, it's not like something that you could come to every trip because the food items are not really gonna change, but the food was excellent. So that was our opinion. We are gonna go back to the hotel now and get the colors to sleep because it's probably it's like 10.30 now, so... Love, I think it's one of a kind There's something special about your love I want it all the time You will always be my inspiration